Hey everyone, it's Astrema Simone here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be installing this new wig that I got from Sumber Hair. So thank you so much to Sumber Hair for sponsoring today's video. I will be installing this reddish brown jelly curl blueless lace front wig. It has all of these goodies inside, edge band, lashes, mascara, wig caps, wig storage. It is in the length 22 inches. It does have have baby hairs already on it. It's pre-cut for you, easy to install. Today I'm going to be installing the wig while going ahead and sharing my tips with you and getting ready to go out. So yeah, this is going to be my first get ready with me video in a very long time and I hope you guys enjoy it. So make sure you thumbs up the video if you do to let me know. I would really appreciate it and I'm going to have all the information and details for the wig listed down below. I have the wig right here. I'm just gonna put it on so that you can see how it just looks right out of the packaging. It has the adjustable band on there and I'm just gonna tighten it up just to fit me. And I already have on a wig cap. So I just put the one comb that's in the back in my hair to secure it some more, but I don't use any more of the combs and you can take the combs out if you want to. So before I get into like the tips and advice, I just wanted to show you how it looks straight out the packaging. This hair is very soft, it's healthy looking, and I love the reddish brown jerry curls. It's just really nice, but you also have that option to straighten it because it is 100% human hair. Pre-plucked lace front for you, so you don't have to do much customizing. And then there are some baby hairs that already came here for you, which is great for those who do not know how to make baby hairs on a wig. There is a six by four lace closure. Oh, all the way back to right here. So that's a good amount of lace to work with. This is a great beginner friendly wig. The 22 inches comes like right in the middle of my boobs. <laughs> I do have a big chest, but, and I don't have on like a lifted bra. It's like in the middle of my back. If you really don't know how to install a wig at all, you're lost. This is the perfect wig for you. Like, just look at that. I'm really loving it. And I can't wait to just do so many different things with the wig. Now I am going to take the wig off and do my little hack. So you can go ahead and bleach the knots if you want to, which would be a great idea. I do have another wig video where I show you how I bleach the knots, but if you don't know how to, you can just put some foundation here that matches your skin, or you can use a lace tinting spray. This is in the color medium brown. I will list it down below. and you're just gonna let it dry for a little bit. It'll dry really quickly. So I really like this option because it lasts for a long time. It's smudge free, so it's not gonna be smudging all over my forehead. <laughs> I just want to show you like how it's looking compared to before. It's just matching me like a lot better. So to lay the lace on my head so it doesn't move, I'm going to be using this Even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. It's extra firm, whole, and sensitive. And I'm just going to spray it on the lace. So if you haven't noticed, I didn't cut any of the lace. I'm gonna just make it very beginner friendly and I'm gonna use my blow dryer on cool. Okay, so I just laid it with the edge band that it comes with. And I'm just gonna start off basically just talking about why you should always look your best. So the first thing is the way you dress, or I should say present yourself, affects how you feel inside. Dressing nice makes you feel happy, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel powerful, it makes you feel strong. And most importantly, it makes you feel very confident. The people around you are going to feel and see that confidence exuding out of you and they're gonna notice that you put an effort into the way that you look or the way that you present yourself you know you'll get compliments people will notice you make an effort looking your best is basically the effort that you put into looking your best i am just going to take this off i'm gonna be returning to that but i did want to go ahead and set my part so i think i might keep the middle part that the wig already comes with. I'm just gonna jump in with my hot combs. I'm just gonna be using this 
um, hot comb that's curved. So it'll just defining whatever part I, I want to find. It's always important to give and leave the best first impression. You don't know who you're gonna meet when you go outdoors. You don't know if you're gonna meet the president. You don't know if you're gonna meet your future husband or your future wife if you're a guy watching. You don't, or it doesn't matter, <laughs> whatever your preference is. You don't know who you're gonna meet, okay? You don't know if you can bump into someone that can help with a better opportunity for you or getting a job or something like that. The other day, I actually bumped into, I'm waiting for this to heat up, bump into a subscriber which I've in the past a lot before but literally I did and I was so happy that I was looking decent <laughs> if I didn't look good I would have probably not feel that confident enough to speak with them I just started getting back into looking like extra extra presentable not saying that I don't be looking presentable because I do I, I haven't been taking it like as seriously before but you know I have been now I think this is <laughs> so I'm just going to define my part just using the hot comb and the key is to if you don't have a curved one you have to make the plate hit it because that's what's the comb and the hotness like a flat iron almost is what's kind of like helping it to lay literally almost done like wow I'm not saying that you have to get dressed up like you're going to a wedding every day if you're just going to like the grocery store but what I am saying is once you put that effort into just running some errands or going to the grocery store you will feel that much better first impressions are real and they're true so how you look externally is important I know we're not being materialistic or anything like that we're not even jumping into the name brands and things of that nature we're just talking about being put together putting in an effort and that can look different for everyone define what is looking your best so I'm gonna share with you seven ways that you can start looking your best or just kind of like things that you already probably know but this is kind of like the little formula on how you can look your best every day so number one is getting up early early can be different for everyone even if it's like 15 minutes before say you get up at eight o'clock get up at 7 45 you gotta get up early so that you can get yourself together imagine you were going for example to a job interview right and the job interview was at 10 a.m and you got up at 9 30 to get ready for it at that point you're literally probably having like five to ten minutes to throw on some clothes probably like brush your teeth or maybe <laughs> wash your face and do skincare and then on your way to get there depending on where that is you're not gonna really look the part so I'm gonna just take some concealer just to find the part since I'm doing the middle part I just want it to be more defined here bring it all the way down since I'm doing the middle part but guess what we're gonna blend this out because I'm not gonna be looking crazy like this now <laughs> I mean, sometimes wigs are just gonna look wiggy no matter what we know you have on the wig, especially a lace front if you're gonna come real close, right? I'm just gonna take this little e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to blend it out. And I'm gonna take my time and blend it. I'm gonna just take some foundation, just put it over it. Second thing is body care. Put some effort into your body care. I have some self-care videos on here. If you wanna like take a look at those, take your shower routine seriously, your self-care routine, take care of your body the way it looks as you get older as well is very important even if you're not older you have to take care of yourself you have to wash yourself properly because that can be older you don't want any type of body older so this is how it's looking it's gonna go away once I go ahead and like set the hair so don't be alarmed <laughs> moisturize your skin build a skincare routine so your skin can look good I was out the other day and someone was complimenting me on my skin and they just kept talking about how beautiful my skin looked that's because I built a skincare regimen to make my skin look beautiful obviously there's other things that goes into that my skincare is one of the biggest things so now I'm just going to lay my baby hairs really quickly and I'm just gonna use some spritz nothing crazy I'm gonna use an edge brush I'm gonna literally just keep the baby hairs that they made for me laying it out with the brush and then I'm gonna take the comb and just kind of curve it 
where I wanna curve it. So if you wanna step it up a notch, exercise. Exercising will make you look good overall. It'll make you look fit, tight, trim. And then exercising will also energize you, make you feel really good inside. That leads into like eating healthier. Sometimes the foods that, not to get too technical, but sometimes the foods that you eat can bring down your mood. It could also not make you feel good inside as well. Gut health or taking the time to make efforts to fix yourself internally by eating better and exercising will also make you look good on the outside and it also help with reversing aging too <laughs> okay so i'm just laying my baby hairs doing your nails my nails are not done right now because i'm gonna be doing it later doing your hair <laughs> something as little as just putting on some mascara if you don't know how to put on lashes put on a little bit of mascara to brighten up your lids if you've been watching me you know that i have very thin lashes because of my illness they fell out so a lot of times i wasn't putting the effort to like even put on mascara or put on lashes or get lash extensions extensions and some of you guys will be like oh show me you should wear lashes yeah because they instantly brighten up my face because I don't have any a little lip gloss it don't have to be nothing crazy you could just take some time out to put on a simple makeup look or you could do a no makeup look or if you don't like makeup literally just brighten up your eyes with some mascara and some lip gloss there's no reason for you to walk around with your hair looking a mess when somber hair has easy to install wigs like that okay <laughs> you need to find your personal style that suits you like i said before everyone is different what hairstyle what hair color matches you the best what type of outfit or clothing suits you the best i'm pear shaped so i have to wear certain type of clothing items to suit my body what type of color colors do you like? What suits your skin? What brightens up your skin? You know, what makes you look good? While I'm waiting for my edges to lay, I'm gonna go ahead and make these curls pop. I'm gonna use a mousse. This is the olive oil curl defining mousse. It is important to look good even if you're not leaving the house, especially for my remote job holders, those who work from home. Get it together, girl or guy. When you are working from home, it's easy to just roll out of bed and go into your office or go around the computer. Or some people even just put the computer in the bed with them. No. Don't do that, girl or guy. I'm gonna use this curl defining brush. So here's how you're gonna do it. When you get up, you need to brush your teeth wash your face take a shower if you haven't already do your skincare and you're gonna pick out something to wear for the occasion so you're gonna get you some casual office wear some presentable lounge wear where you're actually dressed up like you're going somewhere and not just be getting dressed up from the head down to the waist no when you get dressed up for the part you're gonna perform your best even if you don't work from home it will help you be more productive by looking the part taking care of your hygiene putting on perfume or cologne if you're not going anywhere so you could smell yourself i put on perfume even in the house i'm not going anywhere before bed smelling good puts me in a great mood as you can see the difference with this part that's laid here is frizzy more poofed out this is more uniform and i'm gonna be finishing it off with the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus hold and shine moisture mist and it's just gonna kind of hold the curls lightly and give it a nice little shine although this wig already has like a nice luster to it all right i am back i did my nail they're just some press-ons from kiss the velour they're so nice my nails was looking crazy now i am about to get dressed so i'm gonna put on this bodysuit from pume i did like a haul with them it's like a skims dupe i really like the way it like fit let's get into the hair y'all the hair was looking so good the way it set i'm completely finish it looks so good on you girl i'm loving the reddish brown on me let me know what you think about the hair down below quick easy beginner friendly this wig is so nice 10 out of 10 i love it when you look your best you're gonna attract people and the energy that you want to receive okay this is the way the bodysuit looks on me fits me so nicely i'm gonna put on these cargos that i got from shein if you didn't see my last shein haul all right a streamer you gave me all this advice you gave me all the tips now what if you still don't know how to like piece it together you still don't know where to start what to do i've been there i know here's the best tip show Show up as the person that you want to become. Get dressed like the person you want to be. Literally present yourself as the person you imagine in your brain. If you have to look for inspiration, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, to get an idea, like I wouldn't suggest to copy someone else. Getting inspiration and copying two different things. So you can be inspired, you can get some ideas about how you want to make yourself look. So I'm gonna jump in with 
some alien as my fragrance. However you envision in your mind that you want to look is how you're gonna start to dress. Make Pinterest boards, that's what I did. Look for the color palette that you want. Pre-plan your outfits, pre-plan your whole look. Go shopping, there's different affordable ranges of high end to affordable. Take the time, but show up as the person you wanna become. Look at my outfit, it's so cute. Yeah, I just stood up on the chair. It's like faking it until you make it. Show up like the person you wanna become until you become her or him, whomever's watching. And you will, with consistency. Let me know if you got any like helpful tips or advice from this video. I would love to hear your feedback down in the comment section. If there's anything you wanna add to what I shared today, do not be a stranger. Please talk to me, talk to us, we're a community. Please thumbs it up, let me know that it was helpful and you was feeling it, that your girl gonna be doing this all day. <laughs> and yeah, let me know how you liked my look, how it came out. Oh, let me speak. The feet. I'm gonna be putting these on the feet. Got from Shein. Okay, baby. Looking good. Wait, hold on. These are the feet. These are the feet. I'm showing up as the person I want to be today. Oh, it gave me some height, girl. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I have a lot of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. So please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on another upload from your girl. I will see you in the next video being the best version of yourself. <laughs> Bye.